Is it going? I don't know. It's, this is not going yet, but maybe it, sometimes it does. Because there it is. All right. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. And today I'm opening a jewelry jar. It's not a giant one, but sometimes it's not the size that counts, right? So I pick up jewelry jars or jewelry bags or... Yeah, jewelry grab bags when I see them at like Salvation Army or Goodwill. This one's from Goodwill. And I paid $19.99 for this Goodwill jewelry jar. And I like to dig through them and see if I find any awesome treasures. Sometimes I keep them. I'm not sure these were in a jar, just ones that I thrifted. Uh, sometimes I keep them. Sometimes I resell them. And sometimes they just, I don't know, go and get redonated if it's a mess. But most of the time I lot it up. Uh, yeah. So anyway, if you're new here, welcome. I would love to have you subscribe. Go down there and hit the subscribe button. And if you miss me live and you'd like to catch me live, definitely hit the little bell next to the subscribe button so that you're notified when I go live. Usually I'll post it in the groups um, on Facebook, uh, International League of Thrifters, Jewelry Lovers and Sellers, sometimes on my Facebook page, Texas Gal Treasures. I didn't do that today, so oops. But I got friends here anyway. Ooh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to pop out the chat. I wanted to pop out the chat so you guys can see, you know, who I'm talking to and everything. So let me see. I forgot to do I thought I was on top of the game, but I wasn't. So I'm going to scoot it. Sometimes it gets distracting. I know some people find it a bit distracting, but I like to say hello to everybody. Here, I'll make it smaller to the side. <laughs> oh, my gosh, I forgot about that. Valerie. If you caught the the chat with my sister the other day, first of all, she and I have an amazing time together and always laugh a lot. And and we were talking about something. You'll have to go back and watch it. It was Friday. This is the one before this one, the video before this one. Um, yep, if you want to understand what sprinkles means. So, <laughs> Hello, hello, Princess Castro, Makeup Zombie. Hey, Tam's Place. I'm glad you guys caught the video live. Yay, hello, everybody. Okay, so it's not a big jar. But I pay and I pay $19.99 for it. Um, but my rule of thumb is I have to see something in the jar that I think I can make my money back on. That's usually what I have to do. Um, so first off, I really like this bracelet on top. I mean, I I think I could probably sell it for 10 bucks at least. Then also there was something else in here. Now there was like a is this the one that had the little turtle in it? There's this this pocket watch. It could be just the casing. Uh, I don't think it's an old pocket watch, but there's that. There's a lot of black in this one, too, so I was kind of intrigued by that. You know, that was that maybe is a cool choker there. That would be awesome. We'll see. But I thought I would go ahead and open this one with you guys today. I also, I have a, um, some friend mail that I got from Rose. Rose sent, has sent some really nice boxes of things. I have some friend mail from Rose, and I think what I'm going to do is when this video is over, I'm just going to right after that do another video and share fr the friend mail from Rose because it's, it was here. It got here right before I went to my sister's, so I didn't get to open it and share. And she sent some jewelry, too. So if you're watching this later and you're like, I want to see what Rose sent, um, it's a pretty pretty big box of cool stuff. So I'll, I'll do that next. Um, so, yeah. Okay, let me dive into this. I keep talking. Uh, so, yeah. How's it going? How's, it, how is, how's things? How's your sales? Come on. Okay, we won't get into that right now, but yeah, sales right now. Anyway, whatever, whatever. Yay, jewelry jar! I thought I, I thought I would treat myself. The boys have, were, have been sick for like two weeks. They're finally better. We went to my sister's when they got better. We just got back yesterday, so I'm ready to dig into a jewelry jar. <laughs> Snowy there. Oh my goodness, we we were they were saying it was gonna rain. We had planned this Nerf war, Nerf gun war. Um, so my guys, luckily the Nerf gun war did not get canceled. They got to have their Nerf, Nerf battle today with the other some other homeschool kids. So that was cool. Let's see. I found a jar for three ninety nine and passed on it. Oh gosh, yeah, four bucks. Sorry, I'm getting my magnet. So I've got a little magnet here. Hang on, the guys are stopping me. Got it? Okay, they're switching their video game time. Uh, let's just say I'm listing more than I'm shipping. Ripping reseller says. Amen to that. I hear you. Um, yeah, so we'll just have to get creative. <laughs> All right, so here we go. I'm digging in. I have my loop. I've got a magnet. Uh, and I, yeah, let's just start. So right on top, there were some bracelets. So let's take a peek at these. I, I really like bracelets like this. I don't wear them very much, but I really like them. 
Oh, eBay's. I would notice that today, um, Julie. Thrifty Paper Garden um, is Julie. I noticed that. I was trying to ship today. Did you guys notice this? And every time I was hitting, I was trying to go get to my shipping label in any which way I could, and it kept sending me to this, like, random screen. And I was like, this is not right. I was starting to panic. It was like 4 o'clock. I was like, i got to get this shipped. So this bracelet, I don't see any maker's marks, but I really like it. Again, I don't wear bracelets like this, but I always like them. <laughs> I don't know. They're kind of big for what I like. So here's another one that's similar. You haven't seen any jewelry jars in Wichita. I know some friends like to buy lots off of eBay. Um, we had to talk about that in the jewelry group and, how, and what they look for and stuff. I haven't done that yet, but here we've got some more just little bangles. Let's get the magnet out for these. Where are you, magnet? You know, in what was the last? Yeah, the last jewelry jar, I found a gold necklace. And I'm not keeping it, <laughs> but I'm keeping it. But it was really nice, a nice chain. Okay, these are not magnetic, but I don't, I mean, they're gold or anything. Um, so, yeah, I'll just set these to the side. What I like to do is, like, if I have some that are gold in color, but, you know, like, not magnetic, if I think, like, oh, it'd be fun just to test them, I'll put them with my testing stuff and then um, just have something to, to show against. A lot of times... When you scratch on the the tile, I'm gonna call it a tile. I can't think of the word for it right now. When you scratch on the tile for the streak that you need to leave, you can tell almost immediately because of the color that's left behind by the metal. So pretty cool. Let's see. Oh, Sherry says the jewelry jars I have seen are just full of nothing but single plastic beads. Yeah, can't list, can't ship a jewelry jar. Sounds perfect. Oh, oh, so you can't list right now either. You had to stop listing. Oh. Okay, well, then I don't feel so bad. I was telling Randy, I'm like, oh my gosh, I've been homeschooling all day. I've been gone, you know, with my over to my sisters. I haven't listing anything. Um, Deborah, are they expensive on eBay? It just depends. Um, some of the ones that I've seen up there, you know, can go for ten bucks. Some of them for over a hundred. Sometimes it's a mystery box that you get. Sometimes they have it all laid out on the table, so you see exactly what you're getting. Yeah, I don't know if they, how they do the mystery boxes. I don't know if that's still allowed or not. You can on eBay. I have mystery boxes on eBay that I do. Okay, so there's those. I've had a bracelet in one of these before. So there's this bracelet. <laughs> I don't personally like it, but somebody might like it. It's really dangly. It doesn't really sound that awesome, but yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, good. I don't feel so bad. I'm sorry that if everyone else was having trouble listing, though. But yeah, it makes me feel like, whew, okay. Maybe a... Uh, Time was well spent playing with the kids. All right, so here we've got this bracelet, which will probably end up just like in a, a junk lot because you can see here where the metal, like the silver tone has been rubbed away, and you can see like that whatever brass mix metal underneath it under there. Okay, so there's that. I hear my boy. Are you guys fighting? Why are you headbutting him? That got quiet. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Lydia. Okay, so next up, this one's cool. This has got some hematite. This is one maybe I ought to keep because everything's sticking to it in the jar. So maybe I ought to keep this. Can be this can go in my my jewelry bag. I mean my uh, garage sailing thrifting bag. So when I go around, I can touch everything to see if it's you know magnetic. So hello, hello. All right. So there's this. Um, just on a stretchy band. And I mean, my kids are getting their video game time right now, so pardon. This is an anklet, I believe. Yep, this is an anklet, like this. Just go over there. Don't keep hollering at Alexa. Go, she doesn't hear you. All right, so we've got a little an uh, anklet here, which I will probably try to list, maybe. Where is it? Yeah. Um, or is it a bracelet? What? Huh? Maybe it's a bracelet. Okay. Sometimes I think they're anklets, but, well, I don't know. It could be either. <laughs> a big wrist or a small ankle, one or the other. I'll have to measure it and see. Okay. Now, we've got this necklace, which is kind of cool. This brown necklace. The thing I think is cool, look at the cord. It's not just like a random cord. It's woven, and it's in pretty good shape. So, it's a Chaps brand which is just, you know, chaps, like the clothing company. 
And yeah, it says chaps on here. This is in pretty nice shape, so I'll probably list that. Um, I don't mind listing things like that aren't, you know, sterling silver or, you know, 14 karat gold. Um, but because, you know, every little bit counts when you're trying to make up your 1999, you know, this will probably go for, I'm guessing it'll list 12, 14, under 20 bucks, but more than 10. <laughs> so there. Take your magnet bracelet. Yes, yes. Okay. Hey, hey, everybody. Sorry if I missed you saying hey in the chat. Hello. All right, next up. This looks like it matches this. This. But I don't normally list sets together. I don't do very well with them. This one feels really grody. But it's kind of an asymmetrical. Look at that. It's the way it's hanging in there. It's different. So, yeah, that, that'll be... <sighs> It's like one of those I might need to challenge myself, like, this is going to be a hard sell, I think. But just describing this is, but then it makes me want to challenge myself to do it, like, I don't know how I'm going to describe this. We'll see how we do. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to try. Okay, now, let's see what's, oh, here's the pocket watch, maybe. If I can get it off, this. it's tangled. Pardon me. Detangle. Ooh, hang on. Okay, continue detangling. We'll get back to that in a second. Can't list, so I'm making squash soup in my, oh, yum. What kind of squash do you have from your uh, full garden? Yum. Okay, so here we've got this pocket watch on a chain, but it's on like a necklace chain, not like a pocket watch type chain. So there's this side. I'll open it in a second. The big reveal. Then this is the back, you know, and it's just a reproduction type pocket watch. I don't need, I think that's a, we came across one of these where it was a paper, you know, where like the, it wasn't actually even a watch in there. It was just like a piece of paper, but this one, I, yeah, I think this one is a watch in there. Let me open this part. I'm trying to get the, there's like a little lever to open this part out. I always wonder if sometimes you open it and then there's like surprise, something extra special in there. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Um, this is not wanting to pop out, or I am not doing it correctly. One or the other. Oh, no, that's not what that is. That's just for opening the face part. Normally, there's a way to pop the watch part out so you can see the fixins in the back. But no, this one, it's actually got, you know, the movement. You know, you can see there's the, the hands are really on there. So, I guess I'll have to pop the back part off or try. I'm trying. Butternut. Oh, yummy. Okay, there must be a way to pop the back off because I can't get it through. Sometimes it's through the front, sometimes it's through the back. And I'm just going to sit here and mess with it, apparently, until I figure it out. Hello, can I tell? Oh. Um, I'd have to see a picture of it, Pamela. <laughs> Sorry. If you're in my group, uh, International League of Thrifters or Enjoy Lovers, drop a, drop a picture in there and everybody can help. Then there's lots of eyes, lots of people helping as well. Okay, I'm trying to detangle a couple things here. We have, what is that? Okay. Hi. Okay. Okay, can you start again? Can you say Alexa? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, ooh, this is cool. I really like this. Okay, super duper 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 long. I have to detangle this part at the end, but it's this really long, like, it reminds me of like lavaliers almost, like 20 style, 30 style, 20s or 30s. It's super duper long, but it's plastic. Anyway, and they're little teeny, like faceted squares. Isn't that interesting? It's so interesting. Um. Okay, cool, Pamela. All right, next, next. Oh, this was down here. So this is, this is like trying to look like that Kendra Scott look. Um, my sister and I found, an, uh, well, she found some Kendra Scott earrings, and then I, in, in the past, have found Kendra Scott earrings and a necklace at Goodwill that I sold. Um, so this is that style, you know, but this is not Kendra Scott. The quality is not at all there. But this will go just into a, like a craft lot. Flapper necklace, yeah, more exactly. And it's really lightweight, so it would be easy to wear, you know? That is. 
Lava isn't they called lavaliers? Those long, long necklaces they would wear? I thought that's what they were called. I may I get my words mixed up sometimes, you know me. Baby powder helps say, oh yeah, yeah. Um my uh I would keep my all my little chains in a sucret tin with some baby powder in there. Sorry, y'all. Um to keep them from tangling up. Okay, ooh look, this is like a little mermaid type necklace. It's got this crackly aqua. It's just a plastic. But anyway, it's cool. The front part looks good. The back is a little bit rubbed, but I think it's okay. I'll just clean it up a bit. We'll see. It may clean, it may not clean up that nice, but if it doesn't, no, never mind. Okay. You can see where the silver is rubbed kind of off on the top. So this will just go into like a craft lot probably. But it's pretty. It's pretty. Yeah. All right, next. We've got wood. Ah, here we go. That's cool. Ooh, it's kind of purpley on that angle. Well, from the light, it looks kind of purpley. Oh, it does. It looks almost like there's purple and then darker discs. But when I look at it in person, it doesn't really register. That's really cool. You like that blue necklace? Cool. <laughs> okay, so here's this necklace. I like that a lot. Of course, it's not, not at all my style, but very cool. Yeah, I don't think I'll have a problem selling that. That, I'm going to have to find a way to take a picture where I can really show those colors, though. It's kind of hard to tell, but they're kind of like a purpley and a black. Purpley? Is that a word? And then look at this one. Look at this bracelet. This is wild. Wow. <laughs> That's something. Okay, it's green. These big green. I'm trying to figure out what those are. They kind of feel like wood, but I don't know. It's different. Like painted? Interesting. But yeah, I love the color. Again, wouldn't wear it personally, but somebody would. Cool. <laughs> All right, there's that. And then we've got another brown, just like faceted necklace, like so. <laughs> oh, they're talking to Alexa, so. There's that. It's, uh, this will probably go into a lot because some of the you can see some wear on some of these beads. But maybe, I don't know. I'll take a closer look at it. All right. Hello, Phyllis. How's it going? I didn't. I'm, I can't see how many people are in here, so I can say hi to all. Hi, 64 people. Hello, hello. Go over there and hit the thumbs up while we're going, while we're at it. 20 thumbs up. Okay. So next, the thing that I thought might be a choker is not a choker. <laughs> it is a bracelet. But it's really pretty. I like it. And it doesn't appear to be missing any stones. So, yeah, it's got that kind of gothic look. And, bonus, the elastic is not sprung in it. So, very, very cool. Yeah, I like it. So that, that will probably, I don't know. I think I'll, I'm trying to, I'm trying to price it here. What would I put this up? Um, again, probably more than 10 and less than 20, somewhere in that range. <laughs> so in the teens, the teen range. Yep. Okay, next, what have we got? Got a few things tangled in here. This one has a hang tag and it is the 1928 brand, which is nice. Looks like so. Oh, cute. And it doesn't appear to be missing any stones. I'll have to look at it this way. I can look at it backwards and, and see if there's anything missing. Oh, there's like two little teeny missing stones. Arr! See right there, there's two missing stones. So this will probably go into a craft lot because I don't really repair stuff right now. Yeah. But it's pretty. So I'll probably put it into like a craft slash repair lot. Oh, well. But here's another one that's pretty that makes up for it. Look at this one. Oh, isn't it pretty? So it's got these black cut stone. And then it's got this hanging down. And they're cut like with these. We just talked about jet. Well, I guess it was in October, so not just. And we were talking about jet and onyx and things in the jewelry group. And, talking, and one of the things that we learned about was a lot of times um, jet will be cut in bigger facets because it's harder to get more precise 
with um, jet. So it's made to look like the bigger facets in jet jewelry. I don't really think this is old enough to be really jet, but it's cool. Anyway, cool, All right? So, ta -da! Um, do you sell your craft junk lots as well? Do you sell by the pound? What I do, what I have done rather is just like made a big bag and just said, you know, this is how much is in there. Not like a mystery lot, but just like this is a craft bag of jewelry. I mean, well, some of them, you know what, that's not true. So I, I have done some where I laid it all out. Did I do that with those? And I've sold a couple of them. So, yeah. Isn't it pretty? It's so nice. I like that. But, yeah, no, not missing any of the little stones that I can see. Yeah, anyway. I'm trying to see, make sure there's not missing any stones. Like, it's just like, I don't want it to be too good to be true. It's so pretty. Um. Oh, thanks, Dawn. Yeah, my sister and I always have a good time. She's actually coming Saturday, so you may see more of her. Woohoo! I always enjoy hanging out with her. Okay, so here is... Another necklace, wooden, like so. Lots of different shades of wood, and it's in really, really nice shape, so that's cool. Very nice. Okay, next, digging in, we have, oh, that looks painful. <laughs> a magnet, jewel, but there's a tack on the inside. Woo! Anyway, let's just take the tack right off, and bonus tack. And that was smart. What did I just do? Dropped it back in the, in the jar. I'll have a surprise later. Okay, so this is a nice um, bracelet, and it is it has a magnet closure, which is something I maybe should think about keeping, because you know then if I'm out, you know at garage sale, I've got a built-in magnet. There, I found my tack again. <laughs> I've got a built-in magnet. This one's actually kind of nice. I like it. Let's see. Does the black bracelet match? Oh, that no, I don't think it matches quite. Um. So there's that. That's kind of neat. It's not, again, uh, it's really big for my style, but if I'm looking for something that's got a magnet while I'm out and about, there we go. I've got a hidden magnet handy. It's kind of nice. I like it. I like it. <laughs> okay. Next up is another, kind of similar to the wooden one, but it's got some green in it and some, that looks like, yeah, it's like a metal disc as well. So kind of mixed. Let me get a little closer for you guys. So interesting, interesting. Okay. All right, digging in, digging deeper. We have got this one where it's kind of mauve pink and I guess those are brown. It's kind of hard to tell in the light. That's, those are some unusual color choices I find. Uh, I, I don't know, like together? What, what do you think? Orange and kind of a bone cream and mauve and brown and I guess they're kind of earth tones. I don't know. Okay, well, you never know. You just never know. Okay, here we, let me pull this out. Come here, you. We don't want any tangles. Okay, you can come there, and, okay, we had lots of cool black stuff in here. Okay, let's see. Please don't be missing any stones. So we've got another black necklace here. It's got this big medallion in front, and it looks like it's missing a stone right in the middle. Maybe it, no, I was going to say, maybe you could pass it off and say it's supposed to be that way, but I don't think so. So this will probably end up in a craft lot as well. However, it does have a really nice necklace with all of these different chips, black chips of rock and stuff. Part of me is wondering, like, could I just take this medallion part off and just leave it as a nice black necklace with the stones and stuff? That's a possibility. I might do that because the rest of it's in good shape. It looks nice. Like sick. Okay, there. Okay, now, next up is, they keep wanting to tangle some of these. Ah, 
I'm really trying to detangle this. Here we go. Okay. It's <laughs> so this necklace, I just, everybody has their own style and that's good. You're missing one though, aren't you? Or is it flipped over? Nope, it's flipped over. So they're like these silver shimmery pieces of what is trying to feel like leather, but it's probably not with another, if it was like yellow and orange, it would look like flames upside down, but it's not. And then there's one earring so far that matches it. Was that both connected there? Nope, nope, just one so far. <sighs> Again, this is going to be one of those like, how do you describe it? How are you going to sell that? How are you going to sell that, Margaret? You're going <laughs> to you're gonna have to figure it out. It's like disco-y almost. It's very reflective. Hmm. That is, that's, that is a hard sell. We'll figure it out. But the earrings there, this might be one of those occasions where I might put the earrings together with it. I don't know, though. I'm, maybe not. Because what if somebody's like, I really like those earrings, but that necklace has got to go, you know? And they'll get the earrings. Oop, like so. Yeah, looks like fishing lures. Exactly. Ooh. <laughs> this my, these are my man lures. I'm wearing these to the honky tonk to lure in some man. Boho, yeah, yeah. There we go. You have to think about the you have to think about the client, right? You have to think about the buyer. Who's buying it? And what are they gonna look for? Man lure earrings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Feather shape. Y'all are being really helpful. <laughs> okay, this is really pretty. The it's black and this kind of teal turquoisey color bead necklace. These links, that's cool. Again, you know, pretty sellable. It's got a black chain on it. That's cool. Like so. I mean, so far, nothing that's like out of the ballpark, you know, um, as far as price. But, you know, every 12, 15, 17, 20 bucks starts adding up, right? That's what I think. So, okay, next we have got this necklace which is kind of cool with the brown and this would be really good for right now because it's rodeo rodeo time here in Houston so it looks kind of like those rodeo type colors with the turquoise and the brown like so easy to rip them off with the honky tonk <laughs> all my earrings <laughs> she's after Jethro <laughs> I always slow dance with Jethro no, no. <laughs> Anyway, okay, so then we've got this nice little chip, you know, rock bracelet, stretchy rocks, and they're green, but I, other than that right now, I don't know what they are. So there's that. Okay, and then there's a cute little candy cane pin. Like so, it is missing a stone. This has not been the home run of home runs. Oh, wait, there's a ring. I don't normally find rings. Oh, sorry, something's itching my nose. Ooh. So here is this ring. It's nice. It's not missing any stones. There's that. And let me find my magnet. Let's see if it's magnet. It is magnetic. But still, it's in really nice shape. So, well, it's in nice shape. Probably still try to sell it because it's not banged up or anything. You know. 12 bucks or something maybe. Then what have we got down here? I'm sure I'm not digging into any tacks. We have got these that probably went to earrings for that Kendra Scott lookalike. We've got one random earring. The mate could be in one of the other jars that I picked up. Same thing for that one. We've got these earrings. And the necklace looks like is right here that matches them got like this little black enamel in there and here is the necklace like so that's kind of cool just really simple simple and modern looking mm-hmm mm -hmm. you know <laughs> and then we've got this other black necklace let me get my hand behind it so you can see like so all right, I think that's it. So, again, this jar wasn't like a crazy home run, but there's some really solid pieces in there. I think I won't have 
too much trouble to sell. And then a few pieces that will end up in craft lots. So, oh, my nose is itching and I don't want to touch it because my hands are gross. Like so. Uh, okay. <gasps> All right. So what I'm going to do uh, is when this is over, I'm going to just go live again and, and share the things that Rose sent because I wanted to do it separately um, because she sent some really cool stuff. So if you're interested in hanging out again, I'm just going to, like I just said, go live again in just one sec. I'm going to get it all set up. Uh, so if you enjoyed this jewelry jar, go down there and hit the thumbs up and leave a comment. Let me know that you were here. Um, if you're watching later, I'd like to see who all comes to hang out and watch the videos and stuff. I think my favorite was this cool green bracelet. So let me know what your favorite was. And yeah, maybe next time there will be gold. Some jars are just bread and butter and that's okay. In some jars, you get the marmalade <laughs> with the gold or silver and things like that. And that's cool, too. All right. So I'm so glad you guys came. And I'll see you in just a second. All right. Bye, guys.